I see what you mean. I'm already turning. Okay. We got a problem here. We need to talk about the vintage pack. And I'm not just saying the vintage pack as a whole. Oh, no, no. I'm talking about the bobsled coaster. Because here's the problem with the bobsled coaster. I can only set the minimum track length to 12 meters. Why is this a problem? Well, let's say I want to put the beginning slope down to, I don't know, maybe three degrees. Okay, and I want to go straight a bit and then I want to go straight to now. You can see how it's pretty much gradual. I don't want it to be gradual like that. In fact, I want it to pretty much just be like a snap and a snap. What do I mean by this? Well, let's just take this coaster here and uh, I don't know, let's go four meters. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, head down to that roughly three degree slope there we go and look at that it goes down to where i want it to go i can have it straight to now for a bit and then i can have it just snap back up it's not gradual it's just straight where on this i have to make make, make such large slopes and turns just to make a certain shape and it doesn't even turn out right at all. In fact, let's say I want to make a start of a chain lift. You can see how gradual that is. Where usually on chain lifts, it's like, I don't know, maybe about six meters, eight meters in length. But no, we have to go to 12 meters in length. Okay, now let's say I wanted to go up to a lift hill, but, and we got like a small slope, but then I want the lift to, I don't know, maybe be four meters at the straight part and then straighten out. So it's not nearly as tall, but I know I have to go to like, let's say this height. Now let's say I do want to make it smaller. You can see it's just complete gradual. There's no straight piece on it at all. It's just a pain. Like you can't make anything that's remotely realistic with this. And it's not just this coaster that suffers from this issue. In fact, if we go to track rides, the log flume has the same exact issue. You can see that it's the minimum track length of 12 meters again. Now, some of you may be wondering, okay, well, maybe the beginning slope doesn't really matter that much. You can live with it. Well, okay, sure, I can live with it, but let's say I want to work on some details. Okay, let's just go up for a bit here. And now let's say I want to do, I don't know, a 90 degree turn, and then let's go 45. Uh-oh, look at that awkward turn shape. That doesn't look good at all. You know what? Let's go 90, reduce it by half, and then uh, go 45. Oh wait, I can't go lower than 12. Yeah. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm actually trying to do there, let's uh, go back to our random coaster. Let's uh, let's go to that 12 length. There we go, 12. Let's go uh, 90. And let's go 45. There we go, 45 degrees. You can see that awkward angle. So what I'm going to fix that is reduce 12 by half to six. There we go. You can see it's just a gradual turn to exactly where I want it. Why can't I do that with this new bobsled coaster? Restricting us to 12 meter of track length does not help us at all. Yeah, sure, we, we get it. That's like the smallest track length you want us to use for the sharpest slopes. Okay, sure. But at least let us go below that track length to make the fine details like making just the end of a turn or just the start of a slope. Okay? Let us make the fine details. Now, here's the other part that sucks about this uh, whole building process of the bobsled coaster. So let's go into the actual pipe track. It looks great. I like it. But I don't like how if I want to go into a bank, I have to start turning first. Because like if we go straight, you can see there's no banking option. Okay, we go to 11 degrees, no banking option. We go to 22 degrees, now there's a banking option. Okay? Now the reason why I don't like this is because it, it, when you go into a bank, it's going to be a gradual bank. See that? Once again, it's a gradual thing. It's not something you can start banking when you're going straight and then have it go around at the same bank 
all the way around the turn. Okay? I get it. You want us to be banking in a positive G-Force manner. Like, you don't want us to be going the opposite direction. Like, look at that. See? We're banked at 33 degrees, and we're currently at 56 degrees for a turn. If we go the other way around, you can see it resets us back to zero. I get it. You don't want us to be making any negative Gs. But restricting us to only making banks when we're turning and not when we're straight does not help from when we're making like recreations of stuff or trying to be a bit more creative on the fine details. All right. One last thing I have to say is that I, I like the whole idea of using this for uh, bringing the car to rest in the uh, main track and not the pipe track. But like because like this is used on the real ride. But the thing is, when this piece is actually in use, the cars are instantly set back to zero right away. I don't mean like instantly like a snaps down, like it will like gradually go down. Pretty much like it does for any other swinging like ride already in the game. For example, the aero suspended swinging coaster. Now, the reason why I don't like this is because it never bumps the edge here. And it makes it feel like the edge has no use. Like it's just some force that's putting it back centered. And it's not actually like the barriers here. I don't know, that's just a, that's just a small complaint. But the big thing here is the track length and the pipes with the banking. And for people who are wondering about the uh the track limit toggle. Well, let's uh, let's uh, toggle it. There we go. Disable track limits. Apply. Okay. Resume. And if uh, I go to a new piece, look at that. We're still at 12 meters. For those who will say, oh, but no, you didn't go back into build mode. You have to leave it first. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll leave it first. Nope. See? Still, still 12. See that? It doesn't help. I mean, yeah, sure. I, I can make larger banks now. I can really make the... Uh, the, the pipe track messed up like I did in my uh, original stream of this pack But the reason why I did that in the first place is, is because I got frustrated because I couldn't make a realistic bobsled coaster I couldn't make something Exactly the way I want I, I had to go with minimum, minimum track length and that minimum track length does not let me build the fine details that I need So I hope Frontier is listening to this and uh, please fix this because I love your game I love the pack that you came out with, it has some fantastic stuff in it, but restricting us on building this bobsled coaster or any other ride in the game that does not allow us to go to a smaller track length does not help. Okay? Uh, so fr from ICF, if you want to say anything right now, go, go ahead. I'm searching for uh, other coasters in the game that has... Uh, Limitations what on it. What is wrong with this banking? It has two lateral G's and it's not even at a 45 degree angle. This is just bad. Now that I think about it, I don't think any other coasters in the game has this problem. I'm trying to find some. I don't see I any mean, that has a... The only thing I've found is so far is the banking issue, and you can smooth it if you want to. Oh, yeah, I know. I know about that, time, but still, that's... It's still annoying. It, yeah. Like, I, I understand the whole smoothing thing, because I discovered that when I was doing the stream. Like, I realized, oh, hey, I can just smooth them out on the straight pieces, and it will bank there. But it's still, like, annoying. it doesn't help. Well, it, it helps, but it doesn't, like, save time, and it's also tedious to do to get the exact angle that you want. I just don't get how this game had... I'm not sure if it's counting exactly where the car is or from, like, a... It's to the ground positioning, but this thing has two lateral Gs to the side, and it's saying it has two lateral G's and four vertical. And yet, it's not moving. 
It's just staying in the exact spot. Yeah, G-forces are messed up on this thing, though. G-force tracking. Since we're talking about the track length, let's uh, go back to the old Aero Suspended Coaster. Now, back when this coaster released, our minimum track length, what was it? Would you say it was about, like, 16, 20 meters or so? Uh, or the minimum you, track I length when it released? Six, I think it was 16 for you, because it's 52 feet for me. Or was okay, yeah, so feet. maybe it was around 16. Or no, no or maybe it's still it was 59. 18. It's 59 right now. I have track limits off. 59 feet. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it actually... If I do track limits... It goes out to 118 feet. Oh, okay, so it's, uh... Wait, what? Oh, that, that's a glitch. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, so it's 18. 18 meters is the minimum when you use uh, this coaster without uh, the track limitations um, option. So... Yeah, so they tried limiting us with uh, this coaster because of the whole uh, swinging. Yeah, sure, it, it, it made sense. But hey, when they released the disable track limits option, guess what we could do? We could bring that length back down. Hold on, wait, gotta do that. There we go. I could bring that down to four meters. So Frontier pretty much listened to what we wanted. When it came to this coaster type and uh, some of the other coaster types that had similar properties. But when it came to this log flume and, uh, well, to this coaster and also the River Rapids, I think a few other track rides as well. I'm, I'm not going to name them off because I'm, I'm not going to bother to like, list them off right now. But uh, we can't go smaller than 12 meters. And... The reason why we want it for this coaster is to make the fine details. Can I mention the fact, I forgot to mention this earlier, there is no banking offset on this. Oh yeah, I know. So No, bank, so no banking offset on this, and I looked at the swinging coaster too, that has the same issue. Yeah, there's, there's no banking offset on the swinging. Um, so yeah, when we look at the swinging coaster, you can see, like, we were we were forced at 8 meters. No, no, it wasn't 8, it was 18. 18 meters before. Okay. Which was way too long of, like, a gradual slope. So when we go into a chain lift, you know, it made sense to just go right into it like that. And hell, if we wanted to make a, like, let's say we wanted to make a short piece at the very end of this before okay it would have to be stuck at 18 meters before we go any further in this video i just want to point out that i had a twitch tab open in the background while recording this video and at this point in the video that tab went live and uh whose channel was this it was foxy ferns she went live while i was recording this video so, if you listen carefully, you may actually hear that stream. <laughs> uh, so yeah, completely audible. <laughs> yep, thanks. Hey, I'm back. Guess what? You're in the video. It's completely audible. Um, And that would just not look right at all. We're now, okay, we can make like a short piece like that. And then, uh, I don't know, let's, let's go around uh, by... By 90. Okay, let's uh let's go let's go by 45. What's what's her track length? 14? Okay, let's go down to seven. There we go. There's our there's our little 45. You know, it, it made sense to be able to do that. And I'm glad Frontier allowed us to do that with this coaster with the track limitations option. Okay, if we were to force to do exactly what this coaster is forcing us to do, the bobsled. Then let's go 45. Look at that awkward angle, okay? I'm gonna build this coaster again off to the side using what we can do now.
You see the difference that made? Obviously, uh, yeah, I probably made this a bit too sharp here. But you, you still get the idea. Okay, now, let's say it is a bit too sharp. Okay, let's do the whole 18 thing I did before. And this time, we don't have the awkward angle that this has, as we can just drag that down to 9 meters. That way it's in half. And there we go. We have a perfect turn. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Where before, it was in the awkward angles. So please, Frontier, for the love of God, let's get this stuff fixed. Please, I would love to be able to just make the fine details. Okay. Now, if I have to bring up an example of me when I'm actually building something, let's go back to the log flume. Okay? Do you guys remember the Pirates of the Caribbean recreation I did a few months ago? And then I made it last year as well. But the, the one from a few months ago was the update. Well, I was not able to make that accurately. Why? Because I could not bring the track length down past 12 meter. Because of that, I couldn't make the fine details in the turnings. So whenever there was a turn that was just barely over 90, I had to make it 90. And then maybe have it gradually go over to where it is with the awkward angles. Where if we were able to bring it down from 12 meters, so let's say 4 meters, I could get that turn to line up perfectly. Because I wouldn't just... Let's, let's take this coaster again for me to explain this. Because, like, yeah, if, if you were able to bring the coaster down to 4 meters, yeah, people would try to break the coaster. I mean, I tried doing that today on stream because I got frustrated. But, like, what I'm trying to say for the, like, bring it down to 4 meters, it's just for the fine details. Okay? And the reason why I keep saying this over and over again is so that, hey, Frontier, if they're watching, can understand the point I'm trying to make. So that way they can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see this turn is just barely over 90. Because I was able to go down to 4 meters. If I was to do the exact turn, well, let's say at 12 meters. Let's go to 12. And then if I have to go to 11. Look at that. That's, that's my minimum track length now. You can see how it just doesn't look right with the fact that it just gradually turns slightly so once again please fix this issue that's my only complaints about the vintage pack from what i can find so far i may have some more in the future i don't know because right now this is the only thing that's really stopped me from enjoying the vintage pack so uh yeah if for everyone who has watched this thank you for uh, stopping by and hearing me rant because I really needed to talk about this because <laughs> it's been bugging me all day and uh oh uh say hi to from ACF for me no uh, from ACF don't, say hi don't back do it. don't do it <laughs> it's a curse don't don't get caught in the trap but uh you know while I have from ACF with me here uh do you have anything to rant about with this uh please give me banking offset I don't like moving over the track every time I have to edit. Than five seconds, only because it took that long for Just fix the stop. freaking up. But thank it looks you, like you should be able to hear me now. Yay! Thank you, Fromac, for letting me know. That was totally just my bad. I'd rather not. I didn't even pay attention to the fact because that the so more I rant, to think about it, the more angry I'm getting right it now. Looks like maybe my music is a little too loud. Huh? Let me turn that down a bit. I'd rather not. <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Let me know. Because I am smoothing the crap out of this thing in order to make it work. Hey, I'm back. Guess what? You're in the video. It's completely audible. Oh, 